I thought, okay, I'm really gonna drown. Like, he is gonna kill me. Secret SWAT tactics expose. The 12 News I team uncovering abuse of force allegations against a Valley Police Department, which experts describe as hazing. Current and former officers who have been through it call it hell day. Tonight, elected officials are responding as the I-team's Bianca Bono shows us. I trust our police department. Goodyear's Mayor Georgia Lord responding to allegations of hazing within her city's police department. I believe in them. I have been a witness to how they do perform. And so uh, my comment is, Thank God we have such a great police department in the city of Goodyear. After city spokespeople denied the I-team's request for an on-camera interview with the mayor, 12 News went to a city council meeting earlier this week before our series of reports began to air. We asked the mayor about the city's SWAT initiation process, known internally as Hell Day. Current and former officers, along with the Chandler Police Department, described the process as kidnapping, handcuffing, even waterboarding. Does that concern you at all? I have no comment on that. There is no waterboarding going on. But Goodyear Police Chief Santiago Rodriguez said until this investigation, recruits were handcuffed and blindfolded as part of the secret initiation to join the department's part-time SWAT team. Rodriguez says water is still being used. We use water, ice water, in a shallow pool to test for dexterity so our candidates know that, hey, they might be in the middle of winter in freezing rain. State Senator Lisa Otondo is concerned. In a statement saying in part, the events described in this reporting are truly disturbing, adding, it is beyond me why these abusive practices could be going on for this long with the tacit endorsement from the Goodyear Chief of Police. I literally thought that I was going to die. The I-team exposing the SWAT initiation coined Hell Days after former Goodyear officer Jamie Cole accused Lieutenant Joe Pacello, who was SWAT commander at the time, of sexually assaulting her under the guise of preparing her for Hell Day. He started putting my head under the water when I was still handcuffed. Chandler police conducted that criminal investigation based on Cole's claims. Pacello is not being criminally charged. Still, their investigation detailed Goodyear's controversial SWAT initiation. For one year, we had him put on a gas mask and put... Um, a balaclava inside the, the lens of the gas mask. Okay. So it covered up their eyes. Chandler detectives interviewed current and former Goodyear officers. Probably if HR saw this, they put a kibosh on that. <laughs> How it lasted so long, I have no clue. A Goodyear spokesperson has denied the I-team's request to interview the city's human resources director. City manager Julie Karen said she supports the chief who is consulting outside agencies to evaluate the program and ensure best practices. Is there a concern about any kind of liability? No, I think I've told you I do not have any concern. And Friday, in a statement, Goodyear's mayor said she was not familiar with Hell Days when we talked to her on Monday and reiterated her trust and confidence in the police department. Bianca Bono, 12 News.